picture here. And I am going to work in Lily's journal. It's pretty much finished. All I need to do really is fill pockets. So I need to make things to go in there. Um, yeah, I need to have some things to go in here. So let me just see here. In here I have these um, beautiful old documents. Sometimes I like to... They're, they're just the copies of the documents. I hope everybody is well. Now, first of all, before I... Oh, I like these. I want to put some of these in. Um, they've got a few boobies on them, but that's okay. Very, yeah, I'll do that one. She won't care. Um, is um, There's a bit of work going on. So, and you should know that by now, because you would have heard it in the other video. Um, but... I might have to stop the video if they're making too much noise, if they start drilling again or something like that. And then also the, the neighbours in front of me here are doing their their winter clipping. So they're making a bit of noise. They've got the blower, the garden blower out there. So that's making a noise. Um, so yeah, if that, if I don't know if that'll be too much for you guys. I know the, the drilling was really terrible. So I, I, I did stop that video, but you did get to hear a bit of that. Now that's not quite fitting in there. Is that going to be all right? No. Let's just fold it a bit further in. There we go. So who knows? I Lily might become be a writer. She might document when she has children, if she has children, things. So she'll have a journal to do it with. So that's going to go in there. For now just that i've got this in here love that i could have remember these things oh well i'm not selling this so i will be able to keep it and remember and then this has that lovely pull out like that did i want to put anything there no that could have a photograph uh here has this lovely big tag there oh here we've got a pocket we need to put something in so let's make something uh, sometimes I, well, this is inspired by Carol. I like to sometimes just take one of the pretty papers. Let's see here, not that one. And just make a nice journal card out of it. So let's just see what's here. And I do like to mix and match them as well. Oh, I like this one. Let's do this. I love mixing and matching and clashing, as you know. So I think I'll put a backing on that. Oh, here we go. We'll use one of these. I've got paper everywhere, guys. Everywhere, not that one. This one. No, that's not big enough. Ah, decisions. This bit over here. I'll pull this out. It's very handy to have these collage sheets. I will say that. So, get the glue on. So, when you see this video, I will be heading off. I will be in Venice. I'll be roaming around Venice with my daughter. And I'm very much looking forward to it because we haven't been there for a really long time because of you know what. And we're going with some of our favourite people here, so that's wonderful. Okay, so that's that. Give it a tear. Doesn't it, it is tearing? Okay, it's wet though. It'd be better if it was dry and crisp. those bits off so it's not thick there. Put that over there in the scrap pile. Nice and rough that is. Okay, now I'm wondering That way there's the horsey and the dog. I'm wondering if I want to put something on there. Let's see. Just cut one of these out.
you think I need to empty out my basket? I don't know if you can see it. It's full. Do you think I need to empty it out? I do like this there, so I think I'll put it down here. I don't want to cover it up too much because it's very pretty. Put that there. I think we'll just have a pretty tab on it, some sort of tab. I found this in my in my basket. I love this. It's a, a French mixed cotton linen, but I don't know. It blends in too much, so I won't use that. Um, what else do I have flying around in the vicinity? Not much. Let's have a look here. I just want a nice little, no, no, I don't like those with that. I just want a nice little tab. Oh, just a minute. What would this look like? A little piece of stamped something. Oh, yeah, let's put that on there. Let's do that. That's why we procrastinate a little bit, or I pro procrastinate a little bit about um, my tab. Well, I might grab my whale tail and see what papers are here that I could punch out in the correct colour. I could use blue. What about blue? I'm gonna use, oh, this is pretty. I'll use this one. Now, don't ask me where I got that because it was gifted to me. So I can't tell you. I don't know where it came from. Oh, it was... It was bought in a big bundle on a Facebook sale, I think, the, um, I was told. And um, and so then, um, and then she already had one. So she sent it to me. And I was very thankful for it. There we go. And that clashy, little Miss Clashy is going to slide in there like that. There we go, Clashville. Let's move right along. Okay, I don't think we need to do much here. We could add, you know, here and oh, we could add little touches here and there of this. Very random. Oh, here we go. Here's the two pockets. So what are we going to put in here? Maybe in that one we could do a postcard. And I will back it very simply with some collage paper. So I can spend more time decorating the front rather than the, you know, worrying about the back. Let's see what do we have going on here. Okay. So I'll just cut that out so I can peel off those bits of paper from this because otherwise you get that big chunky bit there when you want to glue it to something else. as well okay right what is going to go on here that is the question okay so I'm going to go in here and see I've got my bits that I did in my Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I'm just going to see if there's anything here. Not that one. That I might like to use. I'm going to pull them out because we might as well use them. Okay. Oh, I've got some scraps over. Oh, oh, here's a painted bit. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes, I might put that there. It's like a blue 
a blue leopard. Sorry. <laughs> Silly me, but it does. It reminds me of a blue leopard. Oh dear, I'm running out of glue. I think I feel like I only just opened that glue. I think I did. Can you hear the men chitter chattering? I think I'll put, just put that little piece up there. They're having a good old chin wag, they are. As they snip away at the trees. Right. Put that there. What else? What else? What else? What about a little piece of book page if I can find anything? I can't tell you. My table looks like a bomb hit. I literally have not put anything away from after days and days of making. Just looks like a bomb hit. It really does. I honestly be lucky if I can find anything at all. Put that there. I have not thought at all about the decoration. I've got a little bit of these here. It's not detracting away from the, the feel of it. And there. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe one of these. That might. Oh, that one would be nice. Let's cut this one out. Sorry, guys, they're not already cut out. I just haven't gotten to it. Good thing I'm not too slow at cutting though. I don't fuss it. I'm not too much of a fuss pot with the fussy cutting. Well, so far so good. I better not say, oh, I shouldn't say it. I've already started saying it now. I was gonna say so far so good. They haven't started drilling. I know they're back because I heard them. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick this one here. It does cover up that. Well, I could slide it over a bit. It does cover up the writing, but you still get the feel of the postcard. So, yes, I think that's what's going to happen. Put that there. Whoops. Okay, and I do have some of these bits still floating on, well, they're still here. They're still in their trays. I do have that stamp there, so I don't really need another one. Don't want anything like that on there, no. Put a little wrist off. No. Okay, none of those. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got circles. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I do weird things. The poor circles, they just get discarded. I've got itchy eye just a sec. Oh, hopefully I don't put glue in it. Okay. I'm not putting anything on, I've decided. Um, but I might grab this. This is what I like doing. It's like snipping the corners a bit. I like doing this sort of thing. I wonder if I want, um, do I need more of this anywhere? No, that would be overkill. Oh, I think I'll stick that there, up the side. Resposto means replied. Okay, there we go. And that is going to slide in this pocket. And I better put a whale tail on that one as well. Or, actually, you know what I could do? I've got this stamped piece. I'm just going to fold that over. And that's going to be my tab. Ooh, 
Yeah, there you go. They've got the blower. Hopefully it doesn't last too long. Actually, I should learn the lesson from the last video and I'll just, I think I'll just have to, now why is that not go right in? I think I might have, oh, it's just stuck. Okay, that goes, oh, we can have it just peekabooing out like that. You can put more things in there. Oh, he's kind of stopping now. So I was going to, oh no, he's fired it up again. I'll talk louder so I can talk over it. Oh, now it's off. Okay, let me see here. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Look at this. Just trying to keep it all clipped together because it's really out of control over there. Really out of control. Hmm. might do one of these I'm gonna do that so that it I like something that's folded that opens so here he goes he's at it again okay let's grab this does this fit yes it does I'm gonna put that on there I think I have that bit there so let's get some glue oh actually I need to grab another I think I have another one on my table somewhere just a sec found it and it, oh, it's heavy yes it's full ish so I'll go around the edges first. You can't see me, but I'm telling you what I'm doing. Go around the edges. Goodness gracious. And then I can take it off my sticky piece and fill in the middle. Okay. And I want to keep that bit there. So I might have to just trim it down. It's not going to have the rough edges, but it doesn't matter. I'll just trim it. Right. And shouldn't really fold things. I'm only doing it because I'm watching the video, but you shouldn't really, I'm watching, I'm doing a video, but you shouldn't really fold things until um, it's kind of dry because that's when you get creases. But I'm just trying to be careful to ensure I don't get creases. Okay, I might sit back in my chair because I'm going to fall off it. It's a usual happening for me, isn't it? Okay, so that I need that soon. And I want to see... Oh, I love this. I really love this here. So I think I'm going to put that... I might just tear it down a little bit. I'm sorry, he's blowing again. It's the it's the man that that goes on his ride on mower, on the little little grass patch. It's very busy. Okay, so what are we going to put on here? I'm going to put this back on. Now, honestly, I've got a lot of tags um, printed up here. Not one. 
Like even that would be, I think that would be super pretty on there actually. I'm going to tear it um, down and not have it in a tag shape. Because you don't have to use them as tags. You can use them for whatever you like. I'm just going to take away the tag shape. I've always got something in my basket that, you know, that's blocking the rubbish from going in. Today I've got the birds sitting in there. Okay, and I am going to put that on there. It's very monotone, but I sometimes I really like that. I think that's really pretty. something like that on there keep it in the blues put it down there oh I think I like it down there blue grays I should say that there I don't think I'll put anything else as far as that's concerned would be pretty there but I wouldn't I might not fussy cut it I might just fussy tear it yes let's fussy tear it and see what happens well first of all I could use my little ruler for that little bit down there But I feel like it needs some sort of paper behind it. I'm thinking maybe a piece of this paper. It's amazing, you know, everything just takes time, doesn't it? It's just not instantaneous getting things done I'm just going to put that there I think I might put it right down there and then I can trim off the excess and we might just have a little ooh, I've got this yeah So that was just a piece of um, random piece of book page that I just picked up and put some some dots on. As you do, just pick up your piece of paper and put some dots on it. Okay, that one's finished. Next. Oh, I really like that. And then, yeah. And that's going to tuck into that pocket there. Okay, we've done that one. Don't need anything there. Of 
could just, no, I don't want that on there. I was thinking I could put a little piece of that, but I think this is a bit um, dark, this paper. I don't really like it there. I prefer something lighter under it. Here I could put a little piece of this. I think that would be, oh yeah, look at that. I really like that. Simple little thing. Um, do I need anything there? Must do some more of those um, coloured in labels. I like those. No pocket there. Is there any pockets in here? So that flips out. There's a tuck here. So what we might do for that is, oh, I think this would be pretty. I don't want it to be too wide. I've got the blower going, and I can hear the men out out in the corridor. So let's see what happens. I don't want it to be too wide. It's just going to be a little tag made from the journal paper. Yeah, and I'm going, I need to back that with something. Oh, here we go. I'll back it with this. And then next week, I'm thinking, if I remember, you remind me if I forget, um, I'm going to uh, make, I'm going to leave that showing just a little bit because it is vintage. Um, I'm going to, I'll have to cut that. I'm going to um, make, make a cover, but I haven't decided how yet. Okay, I need to put something down here. Just put that there. Gosh, this paper gets sticky quickly. Feeling a bit sticky and I just feel like oh I think that would be nice on there so let's cut this butterfly out Oh, I think that's really pretty. I put it at an angle, I think. Simple. Very simple. I'm not going to do any more on that. I think that's really pretty and that's just going to tuck in there. So that closes and then that closes and that closes. I like that. Oh, on this one, I also did a bit of doodling with the, the um, what are they called? The alcohol ink markers. 
So that's what all those little markings you're seeing are there. Seeing there. Ah. Nope. Keep on going. Oh, we haven't done anything here. Do I need to do anything there? I don't know. Um, probably not. There's a lot going on here. We need something for this pocket. So let's see. Again, I'm going to maybe head to the papers. I'll tear that one down. There, that can become a nice long tag when I need one. And then, how big is this? It's quite big. So I can do this quite wide. So what's left, I mean, I would just use that in collaging. I don't want it that tall, obviously. So let's just take this off. Now this is just on copy paper, so I will need to um, I will glue it onto some book page first just to strengthen it and then we'll back it. I can't leave too much of the... Oh, well, I'm, I guess I'm backing it, but that this paper is very brittle. I don't want too much of that sticking out the side. And I am going to use a piece of this. That's the side that I like. Just tea dyed paper done with the doily method that Jaff taught us all to do well I learnt it from Jaff and then I sent you a lot of you to her video and then I think um, Terry did a, a video Terry Rankin Studios oh Terry you haven't been around a bit lately We're, I hope you're okay I haven't we haven't heard from you for a while I just never know these days how everyone's doing. Now, oh, I went quiet, oh, guys, I was, oh my God, I forgot I was videoing. <laughs> I was concentrating so much, I completely forgot I was videoing. Oh my gosh, what a goose. Sorry, I did go quiet. I'm just trying to find <laughs> something to put there. Oh my wordy lordy. Oh, I hope, now, don't tip over, dear sweet. Uh, whatever you call um, 
things. What are they called? You know what I mean. What are they? Dishes. Dishes. That's it. You see, now I've, I've confused myself. I think I might put that there like that. I totally went off. Oh, my goodness. I'm really in a state of shock that I just totally went silent and forgot that I was videoing. <laughs> I told you, I can forget things. Like, I can forget things mid-sentence. Oh, would you please get your car out? Mid-sentence, I forget things. Okay, and then, so this is going to go in this way. Excuse me, I've got bits everywhere. I'll just put it in here. If I can open it. Yes, I can. So I just wanted to see, when I'm looking at it, oh God, it's getting caught on things. Oh, just made it. It's wet, you see, so it doesn't want to slide in because it's, soft and wet so now what you see what i'm seeing here i need to trim that off i don't like that if i can it's very awkward trim that off there we go that's better and here that was a bit easier that one it was the right way right direction that's better so i've got to jiggle that back in there in it goes that's better it's just that it's soft so i can't press too hard or it will bend but i think the pocket's deeper than that yes it is there we go so that's what i'm going to see on that side and i quite like that okay and i can even actually could pull it out a little bit further there okay cool i like that now on this lovely bit of paper here do i need to just put a little something something little something something like that or up over there or is that too many labels that might be too many okay Let's put a frame on the bird no don't be silly okay let's move on moving right along because the noisy ones are back no pockets there no pockets there uh now what's happening here did i just snip that yet because that is an envelope that I have not snipped yet. So that needs to be snipped at the top. Not at the side, because I've got the other one attached. I'm just gonna move my pages out of the way. Or was that not an envelope? Oh no, it wasn't. Oh no, I opened the envelope. Oh, what a goose. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, so it's not a pocket. Yay, I don't have to make anything to go in it. Now, I need to do something here. I put a flower there. Oh. And with that flower, I could put a little something like that, maybe. Or there. No, there. I think I'll glue that one down. And I just need to make a little journal card. Why do I? I don't know why. Look, this is what I do every single time. And that is why everything is so sticky. Imagine if I added all those little bits together. How much glue I would find I had. Okay, that's a piece of painted paper that I stuck there like washi tape. And I really like it. And Lulu will like that. She'll appreciate that. Okay, so I'm, I'm, this. look at this. See? Big chunks of glue everywhere. I can glue still there. Okay, so I need to make a little journal card to go in there. And we might head on over here to Tagland. Those are slightly too big those journal cards are they? I said that but I could tell oh I, no that's not I think I'm going to this I love that I think I'm going to use that oh I love that one too and I think this one goes better as far as colors are concerned so what I will do is I'll glue that to something I might glue it to paper first again it's very thin um, copy paper so, oh hello flowers flowers in my face so I'm going to glue that here. I might even glue it on. I think I can glue it on here, this part, not where the lumpy bits are. There's a bit of a lumpy bit there, but that's okay. I'm just going to cut that off. Throw that in the rubbish. 
and then I'm going to glue it to something else. I'll glue it to this. So all I need to do is swoosh my glue around here. And again, this will be wet and soggy. It needs to dry with the layers of glue. It'll need to dry and um, that way I'll, I'll be able to slide it better into the pocket. And you should get this and go over the back. It smooths it out. Okay. Okay, that's that. Chuck that in the rubbish there. Now, just let me double check if that will fit in the pocket. I might need to trim it down a little bit. No, no. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Okay, I just need to put something here, I think. Oh, I do like that. Maybe up there. With? With? What? Don't want those. See, these little strips can come in very handy. It's very pretty. There's bits and pieces of papers that on it, and I just feel like that could do quite well. There, there we go. We'll stick those on. If you've got a pretty thin strip like that, you can find a home for it. You don't need to home it in the bin. Like its home is not in the bin. It's on the it's on something. I'm just gonna tear the bottom of that one off. Okay, we are nearly done, nearly done. Okay, so that's that. That's the little journal card, but it does need, it needs something, it needs a, a, a you know, a tab. Oh, that'll make a nice tab. Let's just tear it and fold it in half and stick that on. Sometimes I just like doing that sort of tab rather than a, you know, a more regular shaped punched one. Okay, so that's going to go there and that's going to slide in the pocket. Good, and I might just give those a little snippy. Yep, that's better. Okay, and that'll all strengthen up. And then I just need to put something here. I don't think I want that. No, that's going to be too much, so we won't use that. Um, I don't want another flower, because I've got flowers. Um, I'm just looking to see... Oh, I know, I could look here. See if I like any of that. And I might have another one in my other folder. God, I love her. I love that. That's Carlo Crivelli. He painted that. I love that paint. I might pull that out. I might put that there. I told you it's a mishmash. There's a whole mix of places in this journal. But who cares? I just, I just like pretty things. And it's all things that I like. So it doesn't bother me that I've got a bit of Italy and a bit of France in there. If I do, and I've got a bit of botanical and nature, and it's all happening. It is all happening. Let's leave a little border around it. So I was asked if I was going to give this to Lulu as part of a Christmas present. I actually like that. It does cover up a lot, though, doesn't it? Maybe I need something smaller. Let me see. But then you open it and then you see that. I do like I wish I put that up higher now. Um, well, I could take a bit more off. 
Um, I was asked if I was going to give this to Lily for Christmas. I might finish it and 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 wrap it up and give it to her birthdays, um, the fifteenth of November. So maybe I'll wrap it up. I'm taking the border off uh, and put it, you know, as part of a as a surprise element in her birthday present because she hasn't seen it for a while. So yeah, that's better. There we go. Solve the problem. Um, yeah, she hasn't seen this for a while, so I get a surprise and she won't know what the cover's like because she's at school now, so she doesn't see me working on it, so she doesn't know. Okay, and I'm going to glue. I love that. I love the fabrics. They were typical fabrics in the Renaissance. The 1400s were like this. Um, and I bet it was a cut velvet because he was... Was he from Emilia Romagna or was he Venetian? I think he was a Venetian painter, Carlo Crivelli. Yes, they used to put the, the drapery down the back and then the trees on the side. That's what they used to do. There we go. So this is done. Let's just have a quick look. Put that in there. I might slip something else in there. I'm not sure. Something with a bit of colour, but that that's there for now. Um, I mean, it's just such a mishmash of things, isn't it? But I really like that. I think it... It's exciting because you don't know when you turn the page, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know, am I going to get a bit of painted things? Am I going to get a bit of French things? Am I going to get a bit of Italian, a bit of more sort of, uh, more probably UK English. I would say that's more English sort of cross stitchy. Got this cute journal card we made. Um, oh, made the, that in there. Uh, we didn't do anything here. Did those put that little bit there? Made the journal card. I like this. This is interesting. Little tag in there. So you've got this grunge, and then you've got the bright in there. Power butterflies. Everything's happening. It's all happening here. It really is. Botanical. I did want it to be quite botanical. Made that nice big journal card. It's really fun to make nice big journal cards out of the journal pages. I really, and that Carol got me onto that. Although I probably did it before, but anyway, Carol, Carol, Carol Laws does that a lot, and I really like that. Love that. I'm just going to leave it. Um, just a little bit of collage on there for a bit of interest, and then love those. I probably could have put like a vellum pocket there or something. But it's quite pretty. I just think I'll leave it. And I love that, that whole look there. And then we've got this little tag here. Or journal card, I should say. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope...